What if Apple's next big move is actually an old idea, one that its biggest rival might be ready to walk away from? That's the question making the rounds after some fresh leaks about Apple's first foldable iPhone. While this phone isn't expected to arrive until sometime in late 2020 sticks, people are already talking about the features it might bring. And one detail is getting a lot of attention, an under-display selfie camera. If that sounds like something we've seen before, it's because we have. Samsung introduced this idea years ago in its foldable Galaxy Z Fold lineup. Their first attempt to hide the front-facing camera beneath the display happened back in 2021 with the Galaxy Z Fold 3. The idea was simple, get rid of notches and punch holes to give users a cleaner edge-to-edge -edge screen. But now even Samsung seems to be rethinking the idea. To understand this better, let's go back a bit. Samsung has been leading the foldable phone market since 2019 when it launched its first Galaxy Fold. Over the years, they've refined the design with both the Z Fold and Z Flip series. Now, Apple appears ready to step into this space with its own version of a foldable iPhone, likely with a book-style fold, much like Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold. Rumors suggest the main display could be around 7.76 inches, almost matching Samsung's in size. But the spotlight is on the front camera. According to leaks, Apple might use under-display technology to hide the front-facing camera beneath the screen. No hole, no notch, just a full screen. It sounds sleek, right? But there's a twist. While Apple is possibly preparing to introduce this tech, Samsung might actually move away from it in future models. Some recent versions of Samsung's foldables, including a special edition of the Galaxy Z Fold, have gone back to the more traditional punch hole camera. Why the switch? It seems that the under-display camera, while great for aesthetics, isn't perfect. Hiding a camera beneath a layer of pixels can affect how much light it captures, which in turn lowers image quality. Users might end up with dull or blurry selfies, and that's not ideal when people expect sharp photos from high-end phones. There's also the cost factor. These cameras are more expensive to produce, and the payoff might not be worth it if the picture quality takes a hit. So even though Samsung may still use this tech in the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 7, reports suggest it could drop it completely by the time the Z Fold 8 rolls around. This brings us back to Apple. If they really are planning to use under-display cameras, some might say they're late to the game. But Apple has a history of waiting until a feature is good enough to meet its high standards. Instead of being first, Apple often aims to do it better. So maybe they found a way to improve this tech before putting it into their foldable iPhone. Or maybe they're just hoping users care more about a clean screen than slightly sharper selfies. Either way, it's a bold move. Apple stepping into the foldable market already adds pressure on competitors. If they manage to pull off the under-display camera with solid performance, it could shift expectations across the industry. It also raises a good question. Would people rather have a front camera that's invisible but takes average photos, or one that you can see but delivers better image quality? We'll have to wait and see how Apple's first foldable turns out, but the competition is heating up. And whether Samsung sticks with the hidden camera or not, one thing's clear foldable phones are still evolving fast. So what's your take? Would you prefer a hidden camera for a clear screen or better selfie result of the punch fold? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to stay updated on everything about Apple's foldable plans and Samsung's next steps, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech updates.